Hey y'all, this is Kathy Bo. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm so excited to share something with y'all. Okay, 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 okay. First of all, I cannot see your comments um, because I don't have everything running. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave your comments. Any questions, anything you need answered, let me know and I will respond right after the video. So this is my Facebook Live. If you're catching it on YouTube, just watch it as a replay. I have just attended one of the most fun events. It's called, it, it's the first time that they've done this and it's called Stamp Timber. <laughs> when, isn't that cute? So um, Stamp Timber was held in um, Warner Robins, Georgia, and it was particularly for the um, Middle Georgia demonstrators and I'm West Georgia, but we were invited, so I signed up, and goodness, I, I got so many things to tell y'all. Um, let me jot them down real quick. Um, okay, and all right, I call them heavy hitters. These are the rock stars of the stamping world. We had three of them there. Um, one of them is um, our district manager. I call it district manager. It's an area manager. He covers, I think, from um, Washington, D.C. down to Florida, um, Tennessee, that area there, basically southeast of the U.S. And he came from the home office, which was really cool. And I want to make sure, oh, hey, Heather. Yeah, I can't. And hey, Pinky. Pinky was there as well. Um, yeah, I just I just looked up to see how we were doing, and, and I, I'm glad I got you guys. So, you see this is very thick. That's because I got stuff to show you. All right, so um, our, our district manager guy came all the way from Salt Lake City. Woohoo! He's an angel, y'all. We just love him. And he had hugs for everybody. Just so sweet. He's, he's just a young, sweet guy. Okay, and then... Brian King was there. Brian King is the rock star in Georgia, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Brian has appeared with on stage. He's done demonstrations there, and um, he's he's a blogger. He blogs every single day of, uh, of the work week, Monday through Friday. Um, just Google Brian King Stampin' Up, and you'll see his blog. I wish I could remember the name of it right now. I had to do a lot to prepare for y'all really quick. Um, the other one was Wendy Cranford. Wendy is up, up line from Brian King. She flew there from California, y'all. I mean, California, hello. This is the kind of support we've been needing. This is just remarkable. So remarkable to even be a part of this. It was limited seating. I think there was probably 60 ladies there participating. There was a team of probably five or six ladies that um, gathered together to pull this off. We paid a fee. We had um, we had make and takes. We had, uh, of course, lunch. We had presentations from um, Tanner and Brian and Wendy, and it, it was just great. Okay, so let me get on to the stuff that y'all want to know the most about. Um, first of all, if you're on my team, I'm going to be announcing a Facebook page just for us. Um, you're going to want to use this, even if you're a hobby demonstrator. It is going to have some very rich content, and you're going to have fun, okay? And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, um, that well, there will be prizes. That's all I'm going to say right now. Okay, so first of all, we got a bag, and I'll show you the bag. It's pretty, pretty basic, pretty basic bag like this, and it had stuff in it, y'all. And I'm going to go through that here in a little bit, but this is a cute little um, tag that they made. It says, may this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. They've made this with the, um, with one of the new tag punches, which is in there. I don't have names for everything because I was scurrying to get all this done for y'all, just so y'all can see, because I'm just so excited over it. Like, I literally have been home 30 minutes. Um, and my, my sister, friend, cousin, Sally. Oh boy, that was, that was a phone call. I hope it didn't interrupt us too much. Um, are we still on, y'all? Okay. Okay. Yes, the new tag punch, Heather. Um, I hope we're all still on. So, anyway, I don't have all the names because I just scurried around trying to get what I could. Um, but the back of it, they put this wood-looking paper here. 
and anyway it's very pretty and it was tied on with this ribbon now I know y'all haven't seen this ribbon you know why because they colored it with their mint macaron ink okay you buy it white and you just run it through that that ink pad or you can uh, if you've got the refill drops you can just put them in with a little bit of water and soak this and pull it out and let it dry and you've got custom colored um, ribbon I love that okay so there's that in our little bag we were given a lot of little things that I'll share along the way um, but the majority of everything we did was from the holiday catalog this is Stampin Up's um, 2019 holiday catalog and um, in less than well let's see it's gonna be November the oh I want to say the uh, 16th I think I got that right November the 16th, we're going to on stage and we're going to get the whole new catalog. So if you're on my team, by November 16th, now on stage in Atlanta is sold out. But if you join my team, I can send you immediately pictures and everything from the catalog. Okay, so think about that. $99. Okay, and you get $125 worth of goodies. I know I'm talking fast. I got a lot to tell y'all. So holiday catalog. All right, we're going to start here. This was a make and take, and um, it traveled well. <laughs> I only had a two-hour trip, but um, my friend Sally was driving, and um, we just had a ball. This is using, um, I knew there's going to be things on here. I can't tell you what it is. It's um, the new ink. Um, I'll get to it. It's silvery, and then there's a gold, and it's got a funny name. Anyway, beautiful. I don't know if you can see that glimmer or not, but it's so pretty. They used um, this stamp set, So Many Stars, to stamp these little background stars with the silver. And then they used the framelits, or rather the dies, I'm sorry, we used to call them framelits, to cut out the big stars and the little stars. And they used silver glimmer paper um, for these stars. And then um, we had a punch for the Merry Christmas. It's the same punch twice. We just trim it down a little bit and stretch out the red one cut it in the middle, pull it out, and it makes it look layered. And we put them on there with um, adhesive dots. So that is the So Many Stars on page 11. Let me make sure y'all can see all of that. Hey, Courtney. All right, let's see. Can y'all see everything? Okay, yes, still here. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Heather. Okay, so I can't see everybody, but now and then when I peek up, I can see who's here. All right, So Many Stars. And y'all... I'm, this is one of my sets I'm getting. Okay, then we have the wrapped in plaid. In our bag, we were given the whole six by six um, paper stack for wrapped in plaid. This is, I mean, I hope you can see the shine in that paper. Okay, and I'll just try and flip through it kind of slow so you'll see all the patterns. Um, a lot of them have that gold, shimmery gold line running through them. And there we go. We got a little, a little, it's night of navy, I'll bet you, but it sure looks purple put by that green. And a little reindeer and oh, so much plaid. Y'all, it's so pretty. I love the little dots too. And the little Christmas trees. Now I wonder, let's just, let's just for the fun of it, let's see, when I punched my Christmas trees out of this. Oh, look, it fits. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I don't have that punch. But I'm just saying, if you did have that punch, here you go, right? All right, I'm going to show you the card in a minute. Don't get excited. Hold on. Okay, pine cones, stripes, plaid, little reindeer. I love those deer. Little, um, looks like little snow. There we go. All right, so this was just a gift in our bag. Not just a gift. It's a great gift. And here is, oh, these little bells, we got red, green, and gold. I hope you can see that. This is one of them. Listen. I hope you can hear that. It really jingles. And um, we we used this punch here, the pine tree punch, and we punched our little trees out. These have adhesive um, dots on them. The, I mean, um, oh, come on now. <laughs> These, y'all. Okay the dimensionals, Stampin' Dimensionals, and these do not, so it just kind of has, a, you know, a little bit of elevation here and there. Okay, stamped a little tree. Mine's leaning a little bit. 
All right, so there we go with that one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, y'all, I mean, I know I've about worn him out. He's got little brown hands. He's got his little black hat. We colored his nose with the um, the new Stampin' Blend markers, and that's a um, alcohol marker. And then we just used some of the paper that comes in the Designer Series paper stack. Well, it's not a stack. It's the 12 by 12s and we use that there, and then some complementary colors. Now you could also, if you want to step this up, you could put, um, you could use a textured impressions embossing folder and just emboss the background, emboss this, you know, you could put some glimmer on it, um, spritz it. There's a lot of ways to step this up. You could double the banner, um, make a shorter banner, pop it up. There's lots of things you could do here. And bling, we did use bling, but I didn't pull mine out. We were kind of you know, kind of almost racing the clock to get some things done. Okay, so this is the Brightly Gleaming Suite, which, y'all, can you believe that paper? This has got to be one of the prettiest papers we have ever had. And it's Designer Series paper, which means typically the Designer Series paper is a 12 by 12, two-sided um, I want to say 24 sheets. Let's see. No, 12 sheets. Two each. Yes, 24. 24 sheets. Um, there are 12 sheets, two each of six double-sided designs. Hmm, 12 sheets, two each. I don't know. Maybe there's just 12. I don't remember. I can't figure that out right now. But anyway, we've got a punch, the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack. $34 for these two punches. And here's what we got. See the it's really just two ornaments, this shape and that shape, but it doesn't look like it. And if you can see the background, that was stamped with memories of home. And it's tone on tone, so we used the, um, the peacock ink. Oh, uh, what's it called? Pretty peacock. We used the pretty peacock cardstock and pretty peacock ink for a tone on tone, and it's exactly this pattern. I went like this, and then like that with the tree, and then like that with the tree, and then I kind of came around the edges a little bit because my stumps were showing. <laughs> Story of my life, right? Okay, so we'll go back over here for just a second. These star designer elements, I really like these stars. They would be great for, of course, for Christmas. They'd be fun for New Year's. They'd be great for 4th of July. They'd be great for any kind of... Um, uh, I hate the word luck, but good luck kind of cards, you know, you can do it. Encouragement cards, they'd be good for congratulations, um, graduate, Father's Day, all kinds of stuff. Or make a wish. Okay. So, okay. Whew. I'm getting excited. Okay. So here we go. This is the Feels Like Frost Suite. And it used the... Um, sprig punch which is right here this little sprig punch you've seen me use this a lot and I really like to use the sprig punch with vellum I, I kind of tend to always want to do that that's an annual catalog and it was page 187 so if you look we have used the frosted foliage stamp set to do the back. We did six make and takes. So there's, um, we've looked at four cards. We've got two more cards to look at with this part of the video. Um, we stamped the background with frosted foliage, came in with a banner from the um, Feels Like Frost. Now this is a six by six designer series paper. It is breathtaking beautiful. You can see how it looks. I mean, it is the most beautiful paper. Um, then we used the silver glimmer paper with the sprig punch and vellum with the sprig punch. Okay, and this is one of our label punches. Again, if I had taken time to look up everything, y'all, but if you want to know, you just ask me and I'll look it up for you. This would be the Feels Like Frost card. Just ask me what kind of label punch if you need to know. All right, Let's see, did we do anything inside? No. Okay, all right, um, next. Come back, come back. Okay, this is just too stinking cute. Now, on page 21 back here, you see this pumpkin? All right, 
Mine's got a little boo-boo, but don't look at the boo-boo. Now that I've told you that, you can't wait to see where the boo-boo is, right? <laughs> okay, page 21. This little stamp here, so stinking cute. It's a baby plaid stamp, and it's called Tiny Keepsakes. It comes with these tag stamps, and um, it coordinates with the mini curvy keepsakes box. How adorable is this? You see the little keepsakes box here? Okay, so you get a striped pattern, which is what they use there. Very Christmassy, um, but you could also use it in blues and grays and make a man's card with it. I love, I love the challenge of guys' cards. Um, and then, of course, this. So, okay, so the little, there's, there was a gift in this. One of the ladies, this was one of the swaps, and I'll just show you. I'll just show you right quick what's in it because you know who had to look, right? Oh, but look. Ooh. Yes, I did not eat it. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so this is the Tiny Keepsakes box. You're going to need a Sizzix um, Big Shot. Well, I'm sorry. You're going to need a Big Shot or something like that, okay? I keep forgetting. We've sold Big Shot for so long, I keep trying to tell y'all about the big shot. All right, we saw Brightly Gleaming. Let's get over here to our next item. Oh, oh, okay. We're back to this one. So that's what we used on the pumpkin. And we used the Gather Together stamp set. I've got this set coming. It'll be here Thursday, and we're going to do some fun stuff with that on my Facebook channel that I'll move over to YouTube. But we're going to do that on Monday Fun Days. Um, come to Gather Designer Series Paper. That's this strip right here. Okay, and the little um, ribbon combo pack, this string right here came from there. And the Gather Together stamp right here um, is this one. And that's in the stamp set. And the little pumpkin background that we, we just put it on, cher uh, not Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze. We just stamped it with Cajun Craze on Cajun Craze. So again, tone on tone to give us some background here. Okay. And that is this set here called Gather Together. And you're going to want to use the punch that is here that makes an apple. See this punch right here? But it also makes a pumpkin. Let me show you. This is using the same exact punch. See what a different look you get? Um, I hope the shine is off of this. All right, this was, um, oh my goodness, y'all. I love this lady just met her. Her name is Carla. I'm not going to show you her card because I'm afraid her personal information is on there. But um, she's originally from the Netherlands and absolutely precious lady. I just, I don't know, just some people you meet, you just, you just kind of have a heart love for them. I just felt that way. She was just so sweet and I could listen to her talk forever. All right. Because she's got the most beautiful dialect. So she made this card. And you see she's used some, um, I don't know, glimmer, something glimmery here. And she's cut out two pumpkins. She stamped this one back here. And she cut these out. And the little leaves, that is part of the punch, I think. Yep, there's a little leaf there. And, and right here, see, she used those little leaves. And anything that's highlighted is in a punch or um, die. So she did that, okay? I love this card. Okay, we also, this was, so this was our make and take there. This is another make and take. No, nope, it's not either. I made that part up. Hold on. Let me see if we've done six. One, two, bear with me here. Three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, so that was all our make, make and takes. So now I'm going to show you the swaps. Okay, this is from Annette Brennan in Fort Valley, Georgia. And it says, I'm thankful for you. And again, it used the Gather Together stamp set. You see the leaves here? And she would have stamped that there and she heat embossed it to make it shimmery. And then she used the, um, it's got a Cajun craze kind of color to it with the Come Together designer series paper. And um, she probably used, let's see, Probably, I don't know. I don't know what color. 
um, it's got to be Cajun Craze. Yeah, it's Cajun Craze. Anyway, so these are the dies that come with it. And again, you're going to need the um, uh, Big Shot, something like that. And it says, I'm thankful for you. That should be in here. Um, that might be from a different set. I don't know. But anyway, beautiful card. I love it. It's so pretty and so fallish. Okay, here is, let's see, is that all of y'all? I think that's all that we, that I got swaps out of this. Except, oh, I, my swap. Please hold. Here it is. Okay. First of all, this was my swap that I did for the, for everybody, okay? And I did make, I mean, when we go to on stage, we might do, I've always done 65 to 100 swaps. And what a swap is, it's either a full card like this, and you just, you know, they're going to have to put their inside card stock here, and that's okay. It's either a full card like this, which I never do, but I did for this group. Or it's just this top layer, so you take it home and you glue it down. But I wanted them to have the the uh, matching cardstock to go with this, because this is all from the Noble Peacock Suite, and it is gorgeous. This right here, my friend Molly, if you're on, um, I actually used the tufted, um, the tufted. Oh gosh, how can I remember tufted and not remember the the basic of it? Anyway, the embossing folder. It's it's a, an embossing folder you use with your Big Shot, and I just put that paper in there, and it made it like that. It's gorgeous. I also had some gold. Let me see if I can find a gold one. Oh, let's see. Come on now. Here's a gold one. See how pretty? I hope the light's not messing with y'all. Okay, so y'all saw that? Okay, all right. So that's that. And again, that's the Noble Peacock Suite. This is in the um, the annual catalog, and it's page 25. Okay, then these were in our gift bag. This is the cutest thing, y'all. This is using the um, It Starts With Art Suite. Um, actually, it's called Follow Your Art Suite right here. Super cute. They've taken just a little notebook, which mine got a little crazy. Took a little notebook, put a little ribbon on it, got a little cardstock, I mean, designer series paper there, and got all the goodies there. We've got a little uh, bling here. We've got some elements here, and they use that. Um, this is a felt, little felt flower. So cute. It's got glue guns and um, ink refills and buttons and all kinds of stuff. It's just adorable. That was in our bag. Also in our bag from the same series, the same uh, suite, follow your art, are these. Um, these are the Hershey's Treasures Nuggets or whatever they're called. I think they're called Nuggets. And um, what they've done, they've taken a one inch strip and just wrapped it around the little nuggets. But imagine giving this to somebody. You know, I, I don't know why the first thing pops in my head is your dentist office. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> you take chocolate to your dentist's office. I always did. Um, but they gave us a cookie. The dentist office always gave us a cookie. I think that's why I kept going back. Anyway, so so what they did, they've got a, a frame uh, framelit. Sorry. They've got a die for all of these elements except the sentiments, okay? And this one right here is this. Okay, and then they've punched this out with, it looks like the one inch or the three quarter inch. I'm going to say it's a one inch circle punch. Um, anyway, so they did that. It's so cute. It just, it's perfect for a little gifty gift. And you've got no time in this. No time invested, hardly at all. Okay, let's see what else we got. What else do we have? Oh, look at the babies. Sending you healing vibes. Um, this was a woman named Joan Berry from Zebulon, Georgia. I'm trying to just cover it because of her information's on here. Um, so she used the Wildly Happy uh, set here. I mean, you think, you think about babies. Let me set it up here a little bit. Wildly Happy. You think mother and baby. But, you know, it's sweet the way that um, 
she's suggesting that it's healing. Now, I don't do vibes, but it's a sweet little card. It's a great, um, great little way to send a get well card, especially if it's a little, a little child. It, it appears to me she's used um, watercolor pencil here to just kind of make a burst of uh, gentle color there. So pretty. And then she's used some of our um, designer series paper on the back and then she's stamped it there. So that's just sweet as can be. Okay, now. Oh, hello, there's more. Okay, my cousin, sister, friend, Sally. Um, come on now, come out. Okay. She made, she's from Moreland, Georgia. And she made this adorable, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all know I'm crazy about nautical, everything nautical. Look at the little squares. She has cut these little squares out and made a patchwork background. And it says, True North, this is heat embossed. This has um, a reverse stamping technique. She has done a, this started out as a white piece of cardstock and she did just a gradual color. She's like the master of this kind of thing. It's so good what she does. And then she's heat embossed the, uh, the little, tops of the waves there. Look inside. I mean, y'all, I'm in love with this card. And of course, here's the little anchor on there. Now, when you send a card like this in the mail, you do need to have extra postage because it's, um, you know, it's lumpy. We, we got to say it's lumpy. Okay. So that is from the Come Sail Away Suite, page 145 of the um, annual catalog. Okay, this is the glimmer paper that you saw earlier on the stars. Let me get my stars. Oh, my star. Mama used to say, oh, my stars and garters. And one day I found out what a garter was, and I was like, Mama. So those are the <laughs> little glimmery stars. And this right here is the arts and crafts for the, um, it starts with art suite. Um, where that you've got all those different dies and everything to use with this this cardstock here, or rather this designer series paper here. Okay, and cardstock. All right, so that is that part of show and tell. I hope y'all are still with me. Again, I can't see your comments. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I think. All right, in our bag also. So right now, as gifts in our bag, we have these and this. This is why you need to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, I wonder, no, this was a, that was a swap, okay. And we got the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. They are beautiful. And y'all remember this set? I got another one of these, which I love because I've got a lot of cards to make for, um, World Card Making Day event that's going to be held in Peachtree City. If you want information on that, it's October the 5th. You've got to comment here or contact me. If you know me personally, please send me a text. We are signing people up now, and we have very limited seating, but there's still some openings now. Um, more information on that if you're interested, okay? It's called World Card Making Day. Now, this, this lady... Cards by D. It's Denise. Um, she cased it from uh, from somebody on YouTube, it looks like. And this is a little pouch that she's made. And I'm quite certain this paper is retired. I did look for it, and I didn't see it. Um, and this is a sweet little note notepad. And she's covered the back and the front. Super simple. But how sweet is this and you can just give this as a nice little gift have you ever been at your house at christmas and somebody shows up unexpectedly and they brought you something okay this is the kind of gift you need to have made waiting by the door with you know wrapped little ribbon that kind of thing all right but that was a swap okay and then this item came this is judy giddens g-i-d-d -D -D, giddens and she made a cute little pumpkin with a Reese's cup in there. And that again is from that apple punch, which makes it look like a pumpkin. She's got a little piece of ribbon here. So cute. 
you can do that with just about any of our punches. Um, I cannot find this paper. There's a Ghirardelli chocolate in here, and this is from Bernie Prana, and she, that, it doesn't say where she lives, but she's Bernie Prana, and this is so pretty, and I do, I do recognize a lot of it, but I can't find this cardstock, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's in there. Um, and then a, a label punch here, and uh, probably uh, either a punch or a die there. And it's got this little chocolate inside. Okay, and then this one here, this is again um, from, I want to say, it. I know, definitely know it was current last year. I think it's current, but anyway, she she made these cute little cards like this and I can't find this die for the life of me so if any y'all are watching and you recognize this please um send me a note and that was Carolyn Pierce isn't that the sweetest little card I love it okay so let me tell you a little bit more um let's see we won some stuff oh I won this this is this was one of my prizes I won two things this is one and I forgot this was not in our box. This, I mean, in our bag. This is something I won. Um, they gave away stamp sets. They gave away um, supplies, all kinds of stuff. Um, and mine was this, which is great because I'm going to use them. And I also won. Um, they had two grand prizes out of 60 people. They drew my number, y'all. And it is a shopping spree with Stampin' Up. It's like $117. And I'm just like ecstatic. I'm so excited over that. So I'm just like, what? Me? What? And yeah. So I won that, y'all. I'm just like, but me? I just, I still can't even. And I can, um, I can place my order later. I didn't have to do it at the event. Um, but I can place it later and... It's all good. Okay, so I'm real excited about that. Okay, so as far as the big shot is concerned, um, I, I don't know what I can and cannot share, so I'm just going to tell you this. Stampin' Up! will have another die-cutting machine. Um, my personal opinion is that it will not be electric. Um, we we I, I just don't think it'll be electric. I know there's some die-cutting machines out there that are, um, I'm I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say it won't be. And I expect we're going to see something about that at On Stage in November. Um, the other news is, um, there's two more pieces of news. Hold on. Okay. Um, the trimmer. Um, as y'all know, our trimmer has been um, discontinued. And we we had our last shipment of blades and... Um, they are refiguring the trimmer, and all I know is we're getting another trimmer, and it's sooner than later. So if you're on my team, um, just hold off buying your trimmer until, I mean, you know, I'm talking about you can't buy one at Stampin' Up! right now, but just hold off getting one from somewhere else until you see ours, because it's, it's going to be awesome. Um, the next thing, and I think this will be the final part of my announcements, um, events. Okay. Our, um, district guy was, as many of us were, many people were frustrated with the situation with on stage, how it sold out so quickly. And the reason that happened was, um, they have, they have an on stage in Atlanta. They did not have one in Vegas or I want to say Dallas, Texas, somewhere in Texas. They didn't have one. So the Texas people and the Las Vegas people are flying to Atlanta, if I understood that correctly. So that was kind of like, even though it was requested to have a whole lot more seats, you know, they can only do so much. Their event staff can only do so much. So what they're looking to do to rectify that is um, they're bringing back uh, an important event for leaders and they're bringing back or rather they're starting um, other groups that are going to be meeting um, a couple of times a year. Um, I have actually put in my hometown as a possibility 
and hoping that they find the venue to be substantial enough to handle, you know, 80 people or, you know, if it goes to 100, whatever. Um, I'm hoping that that will be a thing. So if you're if you're local to me, um, let's stay in touch about that and see if we can um, see if we can get you signed up. If you're not signed up now, there's so much coming and it's so exciting. And now, after catching up with my sister friend cousin Sally, I'm almost hoarse. <laughs> she and I. We we just had the best time. We talked all the way there. We spent the night, had a little pajama party in the hotel. And then we got up this morning and just moseyed. When we're down in the south, we mosey. I don't know what y'all do, but we mosey. So we moseyed home. And we stopped and had an incredible lunch and just outside of our hometown. And, um, and I literally have been home 30 minutes when I started this video. So um, I love you guys. I couldn't wait to share all this with you. And the big news is Stampin' Up! is doing some awesome, amazing things. I think we're going to have an announcement in October about um, about products. And, of course, in November, um, as I'm headed to on stage, um, some, of, uh, some of my downline is going, and it was difficult to get in. But we're going to be able to share a lot, and I'll be sharing it in my private demonstrator group and um, I will be creating that group online. I don't know if I mentioned that, <clears throat> but I'm going to create a Facebook group. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we're going to have all kinds of fun there. So losing my voice. Love you guys. Thanks for coming. Bye.